Blasting forwards, keystroke for the Diamond Jubilee Sticks. Restive is the Tin Man in the stalls in stall 17. And the sprinters are out of the gates and catchy flew the start is going to provide the pace and there will be plenty of it. He already scorches two to three lengths clear. Blue Point leading up the group with Speaking Colours tipped to win Invincible Army. And at this stage, Limbs Cruiser, Le Bravido, the Tin Man and Dream of Dreams are towards the near side. Over on the far side, giving chase to Catchy is emblazoned in the green, then bound for nowhere in the black and yellow colours. The grey yellow to just ahead of Enzo's lad, still in that far group, uh, City Light, and then towards the bank of it, Sands of Marley, and also towards the rear, Dream of Dreams and Keystroke, as they make their way down towards halfway, Catchy continues to burn along, leads by a couple of lengths from Emblazoned in second, Blue Point in third place in the all-blue colours, Invincible Army, white and red, then behind these, Limbs Cruiser, Catchy with now Blue Point, looming in his mirrors with two furlongs to go, still James Doyle waits to commit, as Catchy takes him far and deep into the race, and Blue Point travels to the front. Dream of Dreams, Speaking Colours, an invincible army. But Blue Point explodes away. Goes two lengths clear from Catchy. Dream of Dreams, then Speaking Colours. And Blue Point over a length clear. Dream of Dreams coming strongly. Blue Point needs the line. Dream of Dreams didn't make it. Blue Point completes the double. Blue Point for James Dyle and Charlie Apple. He got tight late on. Dream of Dreams bobbed to make it very close indeed. But pretty sure he's held on. Speaking Colours was right behind about three lengths further back. All the time, Dream of Dreams was putting his head down and right on the line, Blue Point bobbed. Crucially, to win by a head. Catchy held on for third. Speaking Colours in fourth place. Le Bravido, the Tin Man, an invincible army. They haven't put the time up behind it. Clocked 1.11.47. They'll be rounded down. No course record. Catchy took him deep into the race, Blue Point. But when he needed that kick to beat the course record, it wasn't there. And eventually, he was hanging on to the prize. But for the first time, these, these two races between Group 1s. The, the crowd will know that Blue Point has won, just announced by the judge. The double completed. Blue Point unbeaten in five this season. How do you describe his efforts today, sir? Yes, uh, Blue Point is a very good horse, and uh, he just did it when he first won first uh, in the first day of the week. We said we'll bring him back here to see. How easy a decision was that to make? For me, very easy. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did you want to come back so quickly? With just him? to see him, because he's going to stand in the stud, so we want to see him again. And to be able to do what he's done, only one horse in the last 20 years, Choisir, has done it. How magnificent a feat do you think that was? I think it was marvellous. Good horses always give you great pleasure. And it certainly gave us a lot of pleasure, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no, an amazing performance from Blue Point. The third in history, the, the first in 20 years to do the double. Just how tough and talented is this horse to do that, James? Uh, wow, well, that was pretty special. He, he, he gave me an unbelievable feeling. And I, I said to Charlie after his last bit of work before the King's Stand, I said, I think he's probably one of the quickest horses I've ever ridden. And uh, he certainly is that. Uh, yeah, it took, like we were just saying, it got a little bit hairy late on, but it was, it, you know, the other day I was able to just do things all by myself. Thank you. Uh, without any pressure, but obviously Catchy went a hell of a pace, yeah. and this fella's so genuine, all he wanted to do was go and chase him down, you know, so I was at pains to, I mean, we gave him five lengths, so I was trying to give him more, but we just couldn't restrain him any longer. He's, I've never met a horse as tough as this, it's unbelievable. Did it feel like they went quicker today than they did the other day? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we didn't go that quick in the King's Stand, to be fair, there's definitely, we've run along at some serious factions there. What's amazing, final question, coming into this meeting, you said you hadn't had a great record on this horse, we've just won two Royal Ascot races in a week on him. I know, thank God for Bluey, he's, uh, he's a real star, and it's, it's yeah, look, he, he's, he's certainly rubber stamped, you well, certainly uh, stamped his stallion credentials now, I mean, to do what he's done, like you say, it's, it's nigh on impossible, only two horses have done it ever before, so, yeah, it really earmarks him as a real champion. Yeah.